This you're scenario. a big dick and you're short, but you're or be super tall or have a small one. In there. <laughs> yeah. I want a different I want a different ride. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't you pay a lot of money to see Charlize Theron have diarrhea? I mean, when you put it like that, yeah. Well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. Welcome to another episode of your mom's house. We are here. I have diarrhea. I can't believe this. What Dude, happened? I really, really, really have, have explosive, explosive anus. anus. But bro, walk me through it because you were doing fine up until. Yeah, I don't want to say what it was, but there was a truck here in the parking lot <laughs> and I insisted on trying it. Try it out. Tried it out. Didn't go so pissed on me and it beat me. Did you? It was. Uh, did yeah. you have everything? Everyone the same people? Did everyone have the same thing? I don't know. I don't know. What everybody I think had. so. Yeah. Did yeah. you guys all get assholes? Explosives? I'm still okay as of right now, <laughs> but we will see. I'll keep you updated. Yeah, yeah. Please do. <laughs> Please do. And if we need to take a <laughs> commercial break, you go ahead and let us know. <laughs> I want everybody to know. <sighs> that sucks, dude. And does this food item net always give it to you anyway? No. Really? No. So this is unique. This is a bacterial experience you're having. Yeah, yeah, it's not cool at all. That sucks, bro. I'm sorry. It's okay. Such is life. And I didn't have that. I had Asian food. So and, far, and you so feel good. Fine. Yeah. Yeah, dude. You know, I have a real high tolerance for flavors, for spice. Yeah. I've built it over the years. Oof. Yeah. I used to get diarrhea when I ate sundobu right away in my 20s, and then now I've trained myself to be ready for it. it I, yeah. Not a lot mm. gives me Rhea these days. But now I've drink my Metamucil just to take a shit. It's very upsetting. You have Metamucil here? I got it, yeah. I made them. Did yeah. they bring it up? Yeah. They you, bring it? you should take some, actually. Can we pause? We should. We, we should just have, just have it brought in. Can somebody make some? Do you know how to do it? You take two teaspoons, put it at the bottom of the cup, and then put cold water and stir it really well. Someone can do it for a time. Yeah, if someone could do that, I, I would like to share the experience with the audience. It kind of tastes good. It just tastes orange. Yeah. It's not bad. So much diarrhea. Oh, yeah. It makes you tired too. It does. It takes your will to live. And it, it's straight. It, it started just like sloppy, and then it just turned into straight water. Yeah. Uh, do you want to Number stop seven. recording? No. You need to go home. No, diarrhea is part of life. You know. <laughs> you don't. You don't quit living just because you have it. Have you ever um, had diarrhea and then got called to go on stage? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it crazy that your body shuts down it the shuts diarrhea? It shuts down the diarrhea while you're doing it. It shuts down like a virus while you're doing it. I've had like horrific yeah. colds and like sinus infections and you're miserable. But somehow while you're doing it, your body goes, all right, put that aside. You perform. And then when you, not right when you get off stage, but like an hour later, you're like. Ugh. You're even worse. You're, just, you're way yeah, worse. You're way worse. Well, it's the adrenaline, I think, yeah. kicks in and lets you perform. Yeah. It's kind of like when people die. Did you notice like before people die, there's like they have a really good month. And I think it's like your body's last effort of like, hey, go get things done. Go settle oh, yeah. your affairs. Settle your affairs. Yeah, and then yeah. it tricks the family because then they're like, oh, he's, they're up and running. They're up it's and true. running. And then I've that person dies. I've seen a lot dies. of people die. And I have noticed something like that very much so, yes. <laughs> well, I just know a friend of mine, her mother's in the process of dying. And, yeah. she, and a month ago, she was like, she had so much energy. I'm like, I think that's fairly She's common. She's getting ready for it. Yeah, yeah, it sucks. It's like um, diarrhea, is what I'm saying. It feels like you're dying, but you're not yet. Absolutely. Do you want to say some dates you have coming up? I do. Okay. Are you ready for Go your ahead. sound effects? Yeah. British Columbia, Vancouver, Vancouver, February 16th. At, at the... At the Vogue Theater. I can't believe how big his dick was. And then February 17th, I've added an early show in Meat Rattle, Washington at the Neptune. He jacked off in four strokes. February 18th, Man Friend Disco, the Palace of Fine Arts. Ta-ta there, retard. I added an early show in Jew Dork Titties at the Gramercy, March 31st. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one the best. And then the Ridgefield Playhouse in Ridgefield's Come Net a Cunt. Stop calling me daddy. Tickets at ChristinaPOnline.com. So you guys have a good rest of your day, bro. Oh, yeah. Right. Daddy Lella going, dude. Good one, man. Good yeah, one. I miss that guy. All right. Uh, you can come see The God on tour. I will be all over the place, but um, yeah, a bunch of dates. They're all at TomSegura.com slash tour. If you're asking me about cities that you don't see yet, like Phoenix, like Farnix. 
Chicago, Chicago, New York, Filler Up Delphia, Toronto. They are all booked. They're just going to be announced later on in the tour. They're all booked. I got the dates. I'll let them out. Denver, you know. Mom-ver. All coming, man. Austin. Yep. Wrong. All right. Um, thank you very much. Thank you for getting tickets, coming to the shows. Appreciate you very much. Let's start the show. You ready? Do you think people would pay to watch you live stream diarrhea? Pay? Uh, maybe a handful. But they would watch if they didn't have to pay. I would watch you having diarrhea. Yeah, you wouldn't pay, though, would you? My, if it was a really public figure I liked a lot, You'd I would pay to watch. How much would you pay? Like to watch John Cusack have diarrhea, I like watch. I like him. Oh, he has it too. He has it a good bit. I'm, we all do. Yeah. I would pay fifty dollars to watch fifty dollars to watch Peter Murphy have my diarrhea. Singer in Bauhaus. I'd pay a hundred dollars to watch Peter Murphy. But he's just gonna diarrhea. sit there and shit. But I want to see what his face looks like. And he's like, Ugh. and is he singing? Is he like, oh, he's not singing. He's not. Singing. You can come in. Thank you. Wait, wouldn't wouldn't you watch? Like, wouldn't you want to see a starlet have well, we diarrhea? Have two cups being dropped off. <laughs> Thank you both. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Cheers. You. Cheers. To your health. To your health. This is perfect. Maybe and all so. the seniors that are watching, to your health <laughs> as well. You ready? You got to drink it kind of fast, otherwise it gets coagulated and it gets gelatinous. Well, mm-hmm. oh, I'm never drinking it with a straw. <sighs> yeah, I'm a guy. I'm not a fucking broad. Knock Seriously, it down. Though, wouldn't you pay a lot of money to see Charlize Theron have diarrhea? I mean, when you put it like that, yeah. It's interesting. It's more interesting than some of the movies they're making these days. That's true. A lot of those movies are worse than diarrhea now. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's true. Honestly, Sometimes I see this movie and so this is fucking diarrhea. You know what happened to me the first time? <laughs> that's it. First time in a long time. It's a stream of diarrhea. I was in a hotel <laughs> and... I'm watching, I, I'm scrolling through the movies. I've never seen this. It was new releases. I didn't recognize one single film. It had actors that I knew, some that I didn't, but I was like, I've never even heard of any of these movies on the like the order, you know, the paper. Why video. is this happening now? It's just the whole the whole feature landscape has changed that's really the answer it's just changed completely like do people not go out to see movies they do they do they go but it seems like for the most part they go for massive franchises and that there's breakthrough movies that are smaller but for the most part you know it's i don't know it's just changed and 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 part of the change is that there's movies made that they know will never see the light of day in a theater that's Mm. still a business and they still are there's still enough money in that to make it and have it go to pay-per-view and to streamers and all this shit. But I couldn't believe it. I went, I scrolled through. I was like, I don't even recognize one single title. And so then I ordered a porn, mm-hmm. which I hadn't done in a, in a long time in, in a hotel, a hotel, because you have your computer. That is so special. I feel like watching it old school, like that's like, kind of unique. Guess what? I was like, I was going for that. I was like, yeah. oh, maybe this will be fun. No cum shots. What? Yeah, I almost called the front desk. Yeah, what's the point? Like, it was full, like, full... Penetration? Yeah, everything. And you're like, oh, cool. Like, let's see the good part, you know? And then the guy would, like, get ready, and then they would fade out. And I was like, what I, am I paying for here? Well, hold on. Maybe it's at the end. They save up all the cum, and then at the end, it's one gigantic. I waited. I watched the whole fucking movie. You watched the whole Well, porn? I had to fast forward, so I'd scroll through it, and I'd be like, okay, no cum shot first scene, no cum shot second scene. And so I... I I got to the end. I ordered What's another one to see if there was, <laughs> there was any shots in that one. And? None. And they were both produced in Montreal. It said it in the title card. That's weird. Um, nobody really spoke in one of them. They just kind of walked in the room and looked at each other, and then they would start. But I was like, no shot? Like, that's what, we, that's no, what we're trying to achieve I'm, here. I'm thinking like any here. Yeah. They got you to buy a bunch of movies, though, didn't they? Because they want you to look for the cum shot. Yeah, oh, I'm still looking. Yeah, I'm maybe. still looking. I got <laughs> maybe, home and I'm looking. Maybe that's the marketing ploy: is they don't show it to you until you buy like ten, and then I like, disagree. On your tenth purchase, you I know. Get it. I think I know what it is. I think what? there's restrictions in Canada. Not in Canada. Maybe in the city where I'm watching it in. 
Oh. And, and they allow for like a certain thing, but not, I, I think it's about the release of it. Isn't that funny? Ironically enough, the release <laughs> of the movie features no release. Right. That's funny what different cultures will censor. Because like, Canadians come. I've, I know this for sure. Are you sure? But maybe they don't. Are there different laws in um, Canada Canadia? about cum shots? Yes. Well, that's not the, <laughs> in Canada. They are cum shots. Either. How about in, <laughs> in, <laughs> in porn? That's the best Google uh, sentence ever. Are cum how shots is Canada so damn strict about porn? Oh. Wow. What's it say there? Oh. What's it giving me? Is it giving me any oh. info? Well, you know how in Asia they blur out dicks. The laws you're talking about are technically still on the books. I don't know what the laws they're talking about, but hmm. maybe they do have um, how Canadian customs, which porn is too hardcore. Maybe it is, it is about Montreal. Maybe it mm-hmm. is about that. Wait, but then do the French not allow cum shots in their pornography? They invented the, it. Those are the French Canadians we're talking That's about. That's what I'm saying. So maybe it's from France <sighs> being that know. third they share a culture. I just think about those actors' poor balls, you know? They don't they, let they, them finish. They just shoot that scene and they're like, go home now. And he's like, but my bag hurts. And they're like, I Too don't care. bad. You can't come. He's like, I've been shooting this scene for the last hour. I don't get to finish. But, nope. But what's the point of watching the scene if you don't see the grand finale? I cannot believe I remember one time having a conversation with the great Josh Potter, and we were talking about how, you know, everybody likes different different things. And, and he was like, my favorite type of porn is lesbian porn. That's what he likes the most. And I was like, I cannot think of something I want to see less. Mm. And then I was like, no, I want to see a guy with a woman because that's what I like, mm-hmm. you know? And his rationale was like, I just want to see like more women. I was like, yeah, but don't you want to see the actual, like her doing something to the equipment that you have? He was like, no. And then I go, what about the money shot? He was like, that absolutely disgusts me. Well, but, but think about why. And he can't come. That's why. Yeah. That's why it doesn't He can't come with him. a woman. He can only come with a man. <laughs> That's not what he yeah, said. Yeah, that's what he said. That is not what he, he said. said yes. He's not gay. Yeah. You're not. No, outing. he's not gay, but he can come hard with a man, he said. Not with a woman. <laughs> they so know. Weird. Ask him. Yeah. They were there for it. Oh my God. Right? I, I think that was how he finally came that one time he told us. I think it was yeah. a guy no. that kind yeah. of blew him. Yeah. Wow. But he said is, it was a beautiful man. This is a stunning revelation. Maybe he didn't even know it was a guy because he's blind. Another turn. He probably didn't even know. Another it could have been a. Well, I don't like uh, lesbo pornography either because it does feel pointless. It's like you're just licking, licking each other's to death. They like, like stamp like, collectors. Yeah, yeah. you're just licking and, and licking, licking, licking. <laughs> What's the All point? the day. All the day. Licks. The time has come for the NFL playoffs. And we've teamed up with DraftKings, an official partner of the NFL. And right now they have an offer you do not want to miss. All customers can get a no sweat bet. Get a bonus bet back if your SGP, SGPX bet doesn't hit. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and sign up using my promo code MOM. And if you're a new customer, you're definitely going to want to listen up. Right now on DraftKings, new customers who bet just $5 will get $200 in bonus bets instantly. If sports betting is not yet available in your state, do not worry. You can still join in on all the fun with DraftKings Daily Fantasy Sports. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Customers can use my promo code MOM and get a no sweat bet. Get a bonus bet back if your SGP SGPX bet loses. Max rewards limits apply. That's promo code MOM only at DraftKings Sportsbook. The crown is yours. The perfect duo. Besides my husband Tom and I, two mommies, one jeans. What about the perfect duo when it comes to growing your business? That's you and Shopify. Shopify is the global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business. From the launch your online shop stage to the first real life store stage, all the way to the did we just hit a million order stage? Shopify is there to help you grow. Whether you're selling scented soaps or offering outdoor outfits, Shopify helps you sell everywhere. 
From their all-in-one e-commerce platform to their in-person POS system, wherever and whatever you're selling, Shopify's got you covered. Plus, Shopify's extensive help resources are there to help support your success every step of the way. Because businesses that grow, grow with Shopify. That's right. I find Shopify to be so easy. It's such an intuitive platform and really you've nothing to lose. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash mom's house, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash mom's house now to grow your business, no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash mom's house. All right, we got to start the show. Ready? Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'd love to be able to ask a guy if they would break the bro code and just tell me, when you find out my name is Rachel, is the first thing that comes to your mind whore or Jew? Oh my God. Who is Jesus. Don't bring anyone mother into this. Neither? Welcome uh, to whore? to your mom's house with Tom Segura. Tom Segura. And Christina Pajitsi. Welcome to your mom's house. Oh, no, eh? Hold on. Look, I don't know Look. if they're going to see this or not, but I would just I was hoping that somebody here will know somebody there. And I just like to say, Metamucil, <laughs> every time I have a glass of water with some Metamucil in it, I shit better. It's true. And if you're having trouble with your shits, you should give Metamucil a try. <laughs> it's true. Hopefully they like that. It'll bulk it up. Play it internally within the company. Mm -hmm. Try and use some fiber and bulk up your shit. Mm -hmm. Have you some Metamucil and see what happens next. You're going like to like the way you look, shit. I guarantee it. Yeah. Um, I don't think Rachel's a whore, a whore name. I think of Rachel from Friends. I think of biblical Rachel. Oh, I think I think of whores. Rachel's not a whore's Total name. Total slut's name, yeah. Whore or Jew? That's because you didn't grow up around Jews. I grew up in the San Fernando Valley yeah. with tons of Rachels. None of them were Jew. Jew whores, sorry. Oh. They were Jews, but they weren't whores. That'd be I think first. Tracy's a whore name. Tracy? Tracy's. I know a Tracy is really nice. Yeah, but I feel like Tracy's are universally, you're born a whore. Tracy's Jesus. Whore. Tina, unfortunately, is what a whore. What about That's slut, slut city. Yeah. Slut city. Christina is a bitch name. I feel like Christine. Crystal? Christi, Christine. Crystal. Well, that's, that's. I knew a girl named Crystal Pepper. <laughs> I swear to God. She was sweet, though. She was a nice girl. Yeah, she's yeah. a whore. No, she wasn't. She Crystal was sweet. Crystal Pepper. Yeah, that's a great name. That's a real trash. Yeah. Crystal's automatic uh, DQ. Automatic whore name. What's a real fucking... Crystal. Yeah, that's well, it. your name. You're a hoe bag name, right? Christina? No, because it's named after Christ. Right, but Christine. Christians. Christine's a bitch name, not a whore name. Yeah, that's right? true. Tina's a whore's name. Tina is a total yeah. fucking whore's name. Or a lesbian tennis player. Um, or Chris. I hate being called Chris for that Chris, same yeah. reason. It's so lesbianic. I'm not a Chris. I'm trying to think here. Yeah. Such there was one lesbian scene I liked with Jenna Jameson. Mm. She was wearing angel's wings, and she and this other broad were like like cum angels, and they were eating each other's boxes and doing lesbian. That That's probably the, I only like it because stylistically it yeah. was like. Beautifully shot. And Jenna in her heyday, I think yeah. was unbeatable. She I was great. absolutely Love adore. Love the girl. Her, her prime of life work was just yeah. outstanding. She was great. Um, I'm trying to think here of other like hoe bag names though. Jenna. Lexi. Lexi. Oh. Yeah. 100%. Look who knew right away. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, well. Yeah, Lexi is definitely a hose name. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, Bridget, Josh. Bridget's kind of slutty. No, Bridget Jones is diary. She's British. She's still a slut. Bridget? Well, first of all, every woman's a slut. Let's be clear about oh, that. Stop. Bridget the midget. <laughs> That's what I think of. Yeah. Oh, you think she wasn't a fucking. Hoe? No, she's, yeah, she's a porn star. Yeah. Oh, shit. Mm. I don't know. But I don't think Jew. When I hear Rachel, 
Let, let's get back to the original point. Your original honor. point. Yeah. Well, what do you think? Whore or Jew? Yeah. I mean, truthfully, I, th I think it's kind of a bitchy name. I think it's usually That's, a bitch. Yeah. yeah like Rachel. Stuck yeah. up. I think kind of stuck yeah. up. I don't think whore or Jew. I think kind of bitchy. Nope. Yeah. Exactly, dude. Hmm. Carla? That's just this pig. Yeah. Pig name? Carla is just like unfortunate. Oh. <laughs> You're like. Daniela? That's kind of hoey a little bit. Yeah. Danny. If she goes by Danny. That's. Uh, Danny dances. <laughs> She's got platform shoes for sure. Danny dances. Yeah. Danny dances for sure. Yep. That's stupid. Jess. Joss. Bob's Joss. Joss. You know, people are getting upset right now listening to this. They're of like, course. But my name's Carla. Or they're, they're liking like, it. They're like, it's true. I'm a whore. I went through my phase. I all my friends remember my phase when I used to fuck a lot. I used to drink a lot. Blackout. Six cocks in my mouth. Yeah, everyone goes through their little phase. Do you have a hoe phase? Uh, not really. No hoe phase? Look, here's what I did do in college. Oh, boy. I've always been a serial monogamist. Yeah monogamist so yeah. i just had i liked having boyfriends and like you know i'd do one for like a year or two and then the next yeah that's not a hoe phase no I, it was never for me i tried one time uh in hungary summer okay. of 94 uh -huh. before i went to college with sean and i went to budapest yeah we would just go out on at night and like i like i i frenched a couple of Hungarian guys. Yeah, how was that? And like my second cousin, I Frenched him. Egan, Egan. Oh, your cousin, Jesus. I know, it was weird. Ugh. It was, now that I think about it, he was like a second cousin though. Like, hold on, not a first cousin. <laughs> Fuck, I didn't even know this story. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I never knew him before. And like, he was in Budapest the same time we were. And I was like, I don't know. Was he cute at least? I hope. He kind of looked like you. Honestly. <sighs> so he's smoking hot and you see him. <laughs> I think you're my type, and he was your. He looked like you, yeah. So you you made out with him. I Frenched him, and then I was like, "Is that weird?" That, yeah. Uh, Did you grab his hog? No, no, <laughs> no. I could, I could tell you didn't no. by the way you had, no, no. Your Honor, no dick touches in Budapest that summer. Listen, really? but I Frenched. I Frenched a couple of bar pigs, like Hungarian guys. God. Um. Uh, yeah. Like it was kind of innocent. Yeah, that is kind of innocent. I'm actually. not big into I know. You're letting not, guys you're not ejaculate. Yeah, I can't do it. I just yeah. can't. I wish I could. I really do. No, you don't. Part of me really wishes I could be more free like that. Not now, obviously. I'm, you know, but I don't you wish? Mm. I mean, you weren't. A, I don't know what you were. You no. know, you never tell me the truth. No, I actually don't. I don't. I wish in another. I had. A, I wish I had a second lifetime and I could be a real horror. Why? What's that get you? I don't know. That's the thing. Yeah. I don't know. And, you know and I'd like you're to find discover, out. You'd go through that lifetime. And if you had the ability to reference this lifetime, you'd be like, fuck, I wish I wouldn't have done this. I'm such an unworthy piece of shit now. You think you'll make me feel worse or about myself? <laughs> For sure. I mean, I feel pretty sure. bad about myself in my 20s as it was. You'd feel worse about yourself. Yeah. You know. feel unfulfilled. Everybody I know, and you know them too, who has that path, they either come to terms with it. I'm not saying they should be humiliated and ridiculed. I'm just saying that yeah. when they get on the other side of that, because it's inevitably a phase, right, right, right. it's very rarely met with pride. This is true. I do know whores of both genders. Who the, Yeah, me too, both genders. And who go like, like, it was okay. What they actually seek out is to end up where you are. That's like the end. Yeah. They're like, oh, yeah, yeah. I went through all this turmoil to get to this place where I'm not trying to fill this hole inside you know, literally both literally figuratively. but isn't that isn't that what it's all about is filling the void yeah it's like it's everything is that Drugs, everything food, money fame money. yeah everything is about filling the void and, and trying to uh, will this make me happy yeah. will this make will this make me feel worthy and people who <sighs> sleep around a lot usually have that same story right it's it's not unlike the person who goes and i ate myself to 500 pounds yeah. And you go, why? Well, I was just, I mean, you know, trying to fill this feeling and then they come to terms with it and then they go, you know, they tell you the same story as the person who goes, I slept with a hundred people. It was meaningless and disconnected. And then I was trying, and then I met someone who fulfilled me where I, I was, I changed inside. And then now they look back at that as like, oh, that was kind of a dark period. You very rarely, like That's the true. fantasy of it is different than I the know. reality of it. I know. Yeah. So I think you probably 
wouldn't enjoy it. Enjoy it. Yeah. But then again, what you could do is just go to like a like a gangbang, like a one off kind of sex party. You line up like 20, 30 guys, and it's just like rock and roll, roll the dice, see what happens. You know, you get them tested ahead of time. That's everybody key. plugs and plays. That's the thing, because I'm so phobic of STIs. Yeah. I, I don't want to get like herpes. I mean, not that you, you, don't, get them, you, you don't get them die tested. from them. You but don't die, but like you get them tested. I don't want general warts. And by the way, you go, you go airtight, you know, and then you got, you got to, you go through what would have been a phase in a couple hours. Do you think a lot of people really do that? Like be a real, lot of people. Like, are there how many? It's people, a relative. What's what's a lot? I'm saying like, how many people do you think we know that have gone airtight? That like we that know? You know, and like now the guy moms. or the girl. Okay, well, let's let's do both. So, like, I'm just saying, like, how many women do you think you're friends with or know that have gone airtight and now they're like me and they're like, well, I have two kids and I don't know what ramble is. Not not many. I think airtight's real specific, right? Because <laughs> the thing is, every hole you add, the percentage goes down. So, like, do right. I? Do, how very, many women do we know really. have been with two guys? Probably not many. Not many. I don't. I don't. Like, I mean, a few, but not many. But three guys at once, you're talking about the really elite, like the one percenters. I know, the one percenters. The one percenters <laughs> are, are really elite. So that's what I'm saying. I think a number, like girls you might not suspect have been like, yeah, I actually did have a two guys in this thing, you know, college or 20, whatever, some crazy night. Three guys at once, you're talking about fucking elite class NFL play and an NBA <laughs> level talent like really really elite the talent. NBA of Cox yeah I don't know because I, I know a lot of girls that have had threesomes with for their boyfriends like two women two girls one at guy. once is more common that's though. pretty common more common but two guys one girl I feel like I haven't heard as many of those stories in my lifetime yeah and three guys one girl it's I'm telling you and if you're out there right now and you want to send us an email <laughs> it's your mom's podcast at gmail.com. Subject line is airtight. And let us know if you were a man with two other guys or you were a woman with three guys filling you up. Please let us know what the story was. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. There's no house in the email. It's your mom's podcast at gmail.com. Subject line airtight. See, I feel like in the booth there's somebody that knows somebody that's gone airtight. Really? Well, I just, I'm curious. Hey, does anybody in the booth know? Here's girl? the thing, too. I want to, I, I only think airtight applies in a non professional. I don't think it's like a, a scene. I don't like if you were paid to perform. No, I'm talking about in I'm talking organic about in life. And life. Yeah. It's in a dorm room. It's different. It's different. We're all drunk. Three guys at once. I mean, you're a fucking Olympian. It I know, happens. but you are an Olympian. You are absolutely you're very rare. I know. Very yeah. rare. Very special. Very special. Special, some might say. Some might say even on the endangered species uh, list. Josh has one. He was in a fraternity, and I feel like those guys really? get in no, the Really? No, I, I don't. You heard I about don't. threesomes, right? Just yeah. Some, yep. Threesomes are common. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I've never known a girl that, I mean, at least not that talked about it. Exactly. She's going to be shamed by it, by most people. Because That's why the email a, is so safe. Here's the... <laughs> Your information. And here's the real problem with going airtight as a girl is that you need to find not one, not two, but three lads that can keep their fucking mouth They're shut. They're not going to and ever. At 20 years old, 19, 20, 21, nobody's keeping their fucking mouth shut. The dude, whole campus will know that you're going to. A dude will keep airtight. his mouth shut if he feels like, oh, like. It'll if get you don't, me more. Right, right. So you tell this guy, yeah. whatever, I don't want people to know that, you yeah. know, you pissed in my eyes or whatever yeah. that gets you going. He'll be like, all right. Two. Is really hard to find that it's going to be kept a secret. Three, you could forget it. There's no, no fucking. They're gonna I remember talk. These, the basketball team ran a train on this chick in college, right? So this was like six, seven. Guys. It's not the same though. They were just like well, six or her seven out. guys. Yeah, they everybody. So it's funny. What they stand in line and like one guy kind comes of, in yeah. her and then the next guy comes. I mean, in I don't her. get like the full, you know treatment i don't know the exact details of everything that went down but everybody kind of found out about her yeah. and the guys and um you know i don't think it was like a nice setting <laughs> <laughs> i mean the two these are big fuckers you know six 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 seven big guys where did it happen in one of the dorms in in college yeah, yeah. see that's the thing it's a small community when you're in college yeah Word gets around. Everybody knows. Like I told you about butt sex Becky in high school. Like the yeah. one girl that had butt sex in high school and everybody knows about her. Oh, we uh, we had one like that too. 
Yeah. yeah. Everybody knows when you're young. And everybody talks. shamed both of them. Of course. She would cry. He was like, uh, you know, and then later on, everybody was like, oh, he's actually pretty cool. Like, he's actually a cool guy. This is a cool guy club. It's a cool move. A cool move. Yeah, you're you, going you for mature. anal at, as a sophomore? What the yeah. fuck, man? Yeah. Yeah, you mature and you're like, yeah. that guy's a hero, actually. He's a Very champion. Very cool guy. Um, why don't we take a quick break and we'll be right back. Right back. Sattva Mattress Company. You've heard me talk about them for, what, 15 years now? Why? Because I believe in this company. I love this company. I sleep on a Sattva Mattress every night and I thoroughly enjoy it. I sleep on the Solaire. I can adjust the firmness, the softness. The bed goes up, it goes down, it lights up. It's fantastic. It even vibrates. It's so good. And I, I started with Sattva because we wanted... Um, an inexpensive mattress, but we didn't want to sacrifice the quality. And I found this company, Sattva, S-A-A-T-V-A dot com. Go there. Go to Sattva dot com slash the shit and shop for your next mattress. Do you want a king size mattress but think you can't afford it? Trust me, you can with Sattva because this company, uh, they cut down the costs, right? They don't have a storefront. They don't have employees to pay who are trying to sell you stuff. So they pass on the savings to you. And the, the product is so high quality. You will not regret this. Go to sattva.com slash the shit now for $200 off your next Sattva purchase. And we're back. You may have read our guest's novel, Running the Light. You can see Aww. his new special out now on Shane Gillis's YouTube channel. Oh. It's Sam Talent, everybody. Hey, hey. Hi, what a Sam joy Talent. it is to be here. What a nice round of applause. Yeah, uh, thank you. Congrats on the special. Thank you. Uh, where'd you People shoot it? People are loving it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Where'd you shoot it? I shot it at Go Bananas in Cincy. <gasps> oh, <laughs> oh yeah. hometown club. Yeah, dude. Did you do any coke that week? No, I did not okay. because uh, Marty has kids now. So, <laughs> oh. no more blow for the Mart man. I kept trying to guess what kind of Asian guy he was on stage, yeah. and I did not hit it. He's Taiwanese. Oh, he is. Who's gonna go with Taiwanese? I wouldn't. I've guessed no, that. I either. hit Laotian. I hit Cambodian. No. Yeah. It's Taiwanese. Did he tell you it was not one of the big three? To, like, did he give you a hint? Or no. He, you know, oh. they love riddles. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <they do>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's always some uh, fun times at Go Bananas. So that's great when at Go Bananas. Yeah, dude, I love Cincinnati. It's yeah. a real mutant cage. Yeah. Like that place should have burnt down, but probably. <laughs> yeah. I think they're laundering money for some kind of organized crime organization. Yeah. I think you. I think that's not. Yeah. Off, like on um, paper, all the tickets are twelve hundred dollars. Yeah, I think you're right. Even though they're giving them away, yeah, and I think they own like everything there. Oh yeah, that whole area. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, they, yeah, the Go Bananas, it's, uh, the Taiwanese, the Taiwanese, the, Taiwanese. Yeah. the Chinese are going to destroy us. <sighs> they're Hopefully. so smart. God, I want to had... be dominated by a better person. Oh, yeah, Johnny so... Summers was in here. She's dominating. I mean, the yeah. way she was talking about her childhood and just how they're raised, their their work ethic. The the absolute fucking crazy quality of that work ethic. You're yeah. like, that's America's got we got soft, homie. We rested on our laurels and the Chinese are taking over. There's not oh. enough bamboo in this country. That's <laughs> why. That helps keep the kids in line over there. I that's like the so thing that she true. said that I've heard from other Asians too, with especially with like, you know, off the boat parents was that like her mom was like, Look, you're you're not pretty. <laughs> you're not smart you like, smell bad you're, you're, you're not special <laughs> people aren't gonna like you uh -huh. and then she was like fuck well i gotta i gotta come up with something <laughs> so like she just she believed it and it was like well i guess i'll develop my skills in this this way and ended up coming like up with uh businesses like she would she ended up with like a cheat sheet business for like school okay. so you could text her and pay her, and then she would send you the answers to different tests. Wow. I was like, that's brilliant. brilliant. You know? He's industrious. Yes, very much so. And then she was like, you know, so I like found some self-worth in that. People were like, well, we want, like, we like you. You're cool. And she was like, even though I'm not attractive and I'm stupid. Yeah. Or whatever. And like, I'm not leaving that. Yeah, but like you're, you're savvy, you know? So then yeah, that helped her out. And then she said she came here, and then she was eventually was like, oh, I should sit up straight and mm -hmm. put on makeup and all this stuff. And then she's like, and then I became pretty. Yeah. So like, then, <laughs> meanwhile, my mom was like, "You're perfect. Look at you. Oh, no. You know what? Your pants don't fit. Yeah. Bigger pants. Yeah. Don't worry. That's, that's the American way. Yeah. yeah, that is the American and way. And I'm hunching over to hide my breasts right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, she should have really put a little bit of. I look back self on me. Yeah. I look back on like all the positive talk. I've been like, yeah, I think a little bit of you really should exercise more yeah. would have been good. Uh -huh. Yeah, or like. Yeah, you don't have to. I had a eat fridge in my room, hurts. dude. Oh yeah, I had a mini fridge in my room growing up. Yeah, and a clapper, so I would just lay wow. around like a slothful glutton, 
just playing uh, video games and eating pop tarts out uh, of the fridge in my right next to my bed. Yeah, I could dig around in there and then self soothe. That's very self soothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think ignoring your kids—that's what worked for me. Like yeah. they didn't even. I mean, sometimes they'd tell me I wasn't shit, but most of the time, just like negligence. Sure. Yeah. So then you're like, well, am I good or am I bad? I don't even know. Chain them up like, in the yard. Let them run laps. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that ambiguousness of like, do they love me or not? I think that helped me. You gotta keep them guessing. Because now I'm looking for love. I'm mm-hmm. like, well, I mean, if I do comedy, if I'm funny, people will love me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying yeah. to fill up that reservoir. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's, That's you gotta find out. something. Fill in the void. You look yeah. for something. Yeah, we fill it with Metamucil now. Have you tried it? I was so jealous. I got here just in time for the dual Metamucil challenge. And it's bulking season. Yeah. You, know, you got to tend to your logs. Do you ever have any? Oh, of course. Okay, I don't so, know. Yeah. Yeah. Have I ever had any? I, Come I mean, on. it's new to me. It's new oh, to me. This is a new development? It's totally new to me. Oh, yeah. You got to get it in. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. like, and it's... Duralax. Like, During wrestling season, we would be on laxatives and all chewing tobacco so we could spit and just dump constantly. What? Just to cut weight? Yeah, while wearing a trash bag underneath like your letter jacket and what did you class. wrestle at? 275. But I had to cut from 320 from football down to 275 every year. Jesus. That's 50 pounds. Oh, yeah, in yeah. like six weeks. Yeah, it was very unhealthy. So when yeah. you, As you can tell, I kept the weight on. When you, <laughs> when you would start the cut, would it be a matter of, like, would you go, okay, like, from now on, I'm going to, re- like, would you calorie restrict, I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah, you start it was going, egg whites and clementines and no water. Egg whites and, and no water. No water, yeah. Mm-hmm. It was very bad. My mom used to buy me, like, ephedrine, too. Oh, yeah. I'd be on yeah. speed pills and stuff that killed Anna Nicole. Yeah. Yeah. I remember when Anna Nicole died, my mom was like, they're giving this stuff away. Whatever that, like, you know, yeah. that pill she was on. And I was zooted on that stuff throughout high school. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Damn. Wow. Yeah, it was fun. Six weeks so you'd lose 50 pounds. I'd, lose, I'd drop like 50, 45 pounds. May yeah. I ask, why the clementines? I don't know. Because I my mom did some kind of math on the amount of calories I needed to have. And I think there was like a fear of scurvy as well. Because oh. I wasn't eating like anything else besides clementines and egg whites, they were good. Yeah, people don't I can like feel like clementine clementines yeah. without Fast. even using my hands. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah those are I so feel good. like um, people don't realize with wrestling and also even like the fight game, like in professional fights, like how crazy some of this shit gets for cutting yeah. weight. Like the high level guys too. Sometimes they'll you'll have weigh in, and then when they step in the ring for their fight. They're twenty five or thirty pounds heavier. That's mm-hmm. that is, that's like a huge advantage to the guy who doesn't have. He's his walk around weight is one fifty five. Yeah, but the other guy cuts for it, and then when he steps in the ring, he's one seventy four, and you're like, oh shit, this is a. He should be in a different weight class. Yeah, and after weigh ins, we'd have baguettes, and as soon as you got off the scale, you rip the top off the baguette and just plunge your hand inside of it rip out that doughy core mm. and that was like that was better than any kind of intercourse i ever experienced in high school just that oh yeah wow. hollowing out a baguette so eating it in front of your peers what's the uh time between the weigh-in for wrestling and like in high school or whatever and and actually stepping in the ring like what's the is it at the day before is it no it's the day of it's the day of mm-hmm. right yeah hours before yes yeah, so you just go in okay. like with a belly full of sourdough bread okay yeah just ready. and then after your match you would just be starving too i guess right like when you're done uh, well, you would have one day okay. where you could just have a bacchanal, yeah, and you really treat yourself. Okay, There's surge going around the locker room. Did you like wrestling? No, I hated it. Yeah, I hated it. I didn't need to dominate a boy. Yeah, but my coaches made me do it because You're they knew guy. how fat I would get You're if big. I didn't have to do it. Really? Mm-hmm. Football was my big sport. I was like all state in that, but I had to wrestle. And you'd see wrestling parents, you know, like there was this, the McVicker brothers. They would win, and their dad would just be up there with a big dip in, and he would look at him, and he would go. And that was as good as they got. Damn. That's what they got from dad. And they're like, that was a big deal. Yeah. See, dad nodded us today. Right. And then they went on to family annihilator or whatever, but yeah. you know, they didn't lose. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wrestling is, that's a, you, that's a different dude yeah. that, that loves wrestling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A lot of horseplay. A lot, of, a lot of cool cocks in the locker room. A lot of what time <laughs> is it? You know? It seems, mm-hmm. it translates a little, it seems similar to jujitsu. Probably. Which our boys are into. And yeah. um, they're, the, the people that we go to are so nice, but they're like, Christina, why don't you try it? And I'm like, that's disgusting, dude. I don't want like dick and balls and feet in my fucking face. Like, no. it's disgusting. You don't want ringworm. Is that what you get? Oh, for sure. How do you, what is ringworm and how do you get it? Uh, I don't know. It's I think it's from the of, mat, right? Like, yeah, you get it from the mat and then you uh, get it on your, like, your ankles and your buddies would come and pee on your feet. That was the big fun thing. And that kills it? I don't think so. But it's it was just a good building. reason to pee on someone. Yeah, exactly. Is it really a yeah. worm? There we go. Ew. 
Mm. Contact with objects or surfaces that an infected person or animal has recently touched. Or well, hit that them. first drop down. Ringworm isn't a worm. It's a skin infection that's caused by mold-like fungi that live on the dead tissue of your skin, hair, and nails. You can get it any of these places and on your scalp. Mm. Oh, it's cool. You can get it in more places than you thought. Yeah. God. Yeah. Getting it on your head. That's uh, not, and I have the head for it, too. Yeah, you do. Yeah. You got ringworm head, yeah, for sure. I have that ringworm. means you, begging for it. You should probably shower after you do jujitsu. You had to shower with all of these other young men, and you could see who was pubeless. Oh, you can see who developed early. That's horrifying. There was a kid named Dan Starkovich who had a real gutter choker, and he would just whack people with it in the shower. Really? Yeah. And there I was, you know, completely emaciated, no water in me. So I just have like a pig snout. There's nothing. <laughs> there was no length to what I had. And then they start telling people about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's good. It makes everybody feel better. No, for, for sure. sure. Yeah. 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 This is why you do stand up. <laughs> oh, yes. Because uh -huh. I was broken. <laughs> yeah. It's psychological trauma. For yeah. Being with those locker reports. rooms are oh. so fucking strange. You know what? Mm -hmm. Like, people would make fun of me for what I'm going to tell you. But when I, I tell them how it started, it's, um, it, I think it makes more sense. So I moved during my freshman year of high school. Football, my dad. <laughs> We could have moved earlier, but my dad was like, you can't leave your team during the season. So we moved. It, the family move was based on my freshman football team season ending. So the season ends, and he's like, now we can move. So we moved from Milwaukee to Florida. And when I get there, their season's over. So um, whatever. Spring ball comes. And when I'm on the spring football team, like the first practice, after practice, all the guys go into the shower to, to shower with their boxers on. Oh, wow. And I was like, okay. So like when I told people, they're like, why? Like I've told people like we shower with boxers and they're like, why would you do that? I'm like, because I was a freshman and the upperclassmen are doing this. I was like, you're going to be the freshman that goes like, not me. Like, like it's, you're, you're like standing out. Yeah. As making that, I go, why are we doing this? And you're now the new nude the kid? The new nude kid? Yeah. yeah, it's not happening, dude. Right. So I never, like, it just was the standard of, like I said, the, the old, like you're, you're 14 and they're 17, 18 doing this. I was like, I guess this is what they do here. But it was, like, weird. But I think it, I guess it avoided kind of the trauma of what you're talking about. Yeah. Like nobody was naked. They yeah, but you can still, you can pipe check. Well, I should say this. Undies. There's a couple dudes that would they wouldn't they would let it be known that they don't have to wear boxers yeah and and they didn't look like you and me let's just say that no, of no. course not um big big, big and dark dark yeah, yeah. yeah. purple yeah Huge thigh, of flesh you didn't know exist thigh slappers i grew up in Damn. rural colorado we yeah. did not have a very diverse population yeah so that dan kid i told you about was half samoan Right. And now I just think that Samoans have legendary hogs. Well, you might be right. They I'll tell with. you this. These South Florida black dicks are no joke. No, no. Yeah, these are fucking no, serious. They're the opposite of a joke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like these, these are like, holy fuck. Yeah, they're the war crimes of yeah. a dick. And you're yeah. like, oh, he's he's the one who's protesting the boxers. Uh -huh. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Ours fuck. was tits. Like back in junior high, they made us shower after P.E., Oh. I know, and I was goth, so I didn't really work up a sweat in PE. I was like, I'm not doing it. Like, I don't care. Fail me. I don't want to do this. Yeah. And I just remember seeing like big old sloppy ploppy tits. You yeah. know, like tell like, us more. Yeah, dude. Um, the Mexican <laughs> girls had the biggest sloppers. Oh yeah. Because nice. like they develop early, you know. Yeah. And, like, I black, played with black some big old Mexican too. tits before. But it was fucking gross. Like I don't want to shower when I'm 13. No. Yeah. No, I'm sure that's not. It was horrible. Were you, was it supervised? Uh, yeah, there's like a lady there, nice. like a lady. What was she wearing? <laughs> Does she have nice tits? <laughs> she has clothes. Was she Mrs. G -A -Y? Spangler? Uh, no. She a was lot a of the gym, our gym teacher was like yeah. the gayest yeah. woman ever. She's dead. But. She's dead, yeah. AIDS? Uh, lightning. <laughs> what? Yeah. Really? Seriously. Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> she died by lightning? She got hit by lightning, yeah. <laughs> On the football field that I played high school football what? at. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Did she just get crispy? Like, was she did it very burn? tall? No, no. It was it was horrific. She. uh <laughs> Oh, it wasn't the light and easy lightning strike death. It wasn't the cool one. No, it was. <laughs> yeah. uh She was our athletic trainer. She eventually became the athletic director. She was always around the gym, and she had like that old school, 
lesbian gym teacher. Like, I, I mean, honestly, I, I really liked her. She was tough, but like the tough that you like, you know, she would like to me, she'd be like, Hey, Segura, what's up with your sister, man? The <laughs> fuck? How come she's not like you? You yeah. know, she's got such an attitude. And I'd be like, I don't know. I got, you know, like I would just, I would go, yeah, same thing at home. She's, she's like, Jesus Christ. All right, get over here. Let me fucking tape you up. You know, like she, she talked to you like, yeah. like a friend kind of, you know, mm -hmm. I remember that. Cause how old are you? I'm 36. Oh yeah. So you're, you're way younger than me, but like, do you remember Bruce Smith? for the um the defensive end yeah for the yeah. bills mm -hmm. so he had a very specific way that he would get taped so his hands were taped can you pull up bruce smith bill's um hand tape or maybe it'll just be there if you just pull him up but he was like you know all pro very square head yeah well he and he had like this uh oh, so you see that one where he's running mm -hmm. so it's kind of like it's kind of like um like a lot of play, football players play with just their wrist tape right but he stood out because he had his hands taped, kind of like a boxer would. You know what I mean? Like it, it, up, up through the hands. Yeah. And I was like, yo, I want you to tape my hands like this. She goes, fuck no, I'm not taping your hands like that. And I go, why? She goes, you're not Bruce Smith. And that was it, you know? Like she was like, she was fun like that. Yeah. She's like, Tom, I'm not taping your wrist that way. Yeah. I'm going to put on my metal hat and go stand outside. I'm going <laughs> to put on my pith helmet. I'll I be fucking, out there. I got the, I got the word. I, I was... I was like, uh, someone was like, hey, she died. And I was like, oh no, how'd she die? And they were like, she was just, it was, this is the weird thing about like that Florida uh, tropical climate. It was a clear day or yeah. like it was, it wasn't during a storm and she was just walking across the field. On a clear like, day. That's like God's revenge. Yeah. She did something bad. She well, did. she's gay. That is God's right. revenge. Yeah. 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 It's not, uh, it's remember not, that kids. You're not for God if you're gay. Just remember that. Oh. That's crazy. And he'll find you. <laughs> He'll find you when you're fucking 53. He can smite you. Yep. So anyway, rest in peace, Miss Hinton. Yeah. Um, yeah. What were we talking about? Dicks. 13-year-old uh, tits. Oh, tits, yeah. 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 Back to Christina. Cool. Go mm -hmm. ahead. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't just refused to do it. I didn't want to try Do you think it's more... Public school, they made us do it. I didn't like that. It's like more demoralizing, more humiliating for the men and their penises, though. I mean, I think for, I don't, can't say more or less because what you're going through at 13 is like you get at your period for the first time. Yeah. So then you're like, what if I have my fucking period? And I, and I don't know if you're using a tampon yet at 13 and you're like, I'm going to like bleed in the shower with everybody. They're going to know. Oh yeah. That's worse. Cause blood comes out of your genitals at that age. Right. And you don't really know how to deal with it. Well, it can yet. come out of a boy's genitals too. If you get some, <laughs> you get some time alone. Yep. Yeah. It feels Ugh. so good at first, but then it hurts. Girls are mean, too. But girls have tits that they compare. You guys with your dicks, but we have our tits and, like, and periods. Yeah, I know. I different know. thing. It is totally different, but I'm just wondering if it, I think it might, like, there's this, I think there's this hope for women that doesn't exist maybe with boys. Because, like, if you're a man and they're like, your dick isn't big, they don't go like, yeah, but it'll probably get, it could, they're going to, you're going to grow into your dick. My dick's dick. going to come in. They don't, like, I mean, but a woman, you could be like, oh, yeah, but your tits are coming. You have yeah, hope. Some never do, though. I mean, yeah, some never do. Because there is one girl that had really hungry tits when I was in eighth grade. Yeah. And we were like, maybe next year it'll grow in for you. Yeah. Her name, I forgot her first name. But also, Wendy. modified tits can be a thing that, like, in today's world, can be well done. Modified dicks. That's it's a not fucking, possible. I mean, it's possible, but it's not good. It's not going to. Haven't they, like, I'm surprised they haven't perfected that. I you feel think like all the money in the world will be dedicated to that. Well, yeah. like you guys have Viagra, male, male stuff. It's like they're always looking for it. There's no way to make a guy's dick bigger. I know it's because there is, but like I've seen some video on it once and it looks like it looks like a sloppy donut that was baked poorly and it's just like, like it looks fatter, but Can it's I like it? soft. It's like an undercooked one, long john. Yeah, it looks, it really doesn't look it, good. It is a disaster. Like, like it, it can be, you know, that is terrible if you have such a small one. Uh, I and mean, there's nothing to be done for it. That's true. At least I can buy tits. Yeah, God, those little guys. Aww. Oh, man. Do a post-surgery penis enlargement. Oh, no. Oh, Oh, Jesus. <laughs> well, that one doesn't look so bad. Yeah, but the, here's the thing. It's not going to be like... They made that one huge. It's not going to be like as functional as you want it to be. The whole idea, if you would do this, is that you don't want it just to be bigger. You want it to like work well, right? Yeah. And yeah. I think people who do this, they trade that. They go, well, it'll look big. 
You know, it'll, it'll, but you won't function, which sucks. Yeah. Then what's the point? What is the point? Oh. What is the before and after? Wasn't there before and after? What? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, the before and after looks similar to me. I don't, I don't see the difference either. The lengthening. What? what? That's not okay. real. That can't be. Uh. Non surgical enlargement? Oh, he put filler in there. But see, that's the thing is like, that's, that's like that putting. That looks good though. But it looks good as a flaccid. It looks yeah, like a had huge a, flaccid hog. Yeah, he had a good penis already. He didn't need to he's do that. He's being greedy. Yeah. yeah, he's very greedy. Yeah. Leave and then, dick for the rest does of us. this guy's dick work? Is the real question with fillers in it? Yeah. Yeah. Because it's just under the dermal layer. Like I get fillers in your face. It's just under a layer of Look, skin. Look, I'll do it if it you, this is what you want. If this is what you want, sure. I'll... Bring in the caulking gun right now. <laughs> Fill me up. To find out if you're a suitable candidate for a non-surgical penis enlargement procedure using fillers, please contact a bogus conf... Okay, I want you guys to flag this information. <laughs> um, if you have not had any previous penis implants, that's a, <laughs> there's yeah, no redos. <laughs> there's no redos here. <laughs> One strike. Um, it looks like right now I'm, I'm like... I'm available for this. I can do this. You don't need this. I don't, but I mean, I'm not, it's not. Look, I go, go to, to Australia. Australia. Yeah. You can write it off. I tell you this though. I get fillers in my face and it is not painless. It, it is painful and yeah, they do think numb about your the face. Results of this. The, if they can numb your dick skin before they inject your dick with filler, filler, it hurts. I'm not. By the way, isn't there a thing when you get filler where they go, I mean, it's not likely but it is possible that we fuck up in some way and that your face doesn't move again. Mm -hmm. No, that's Botox. That's they Botox. can paralyze you, but right. you can also go blind from doing filler and Botox. If but they, you do filler? Yep. And if they get the wrong, it's around your eyes. So if you have a bad, that's why you don't shut, you don't do Botox and filler in the mall gals. You go yeah. to like a plastic surgeon, somebody that has a really deep knowledge. I have a Botox uh, party like my female friend. <laughs> Yeah. I would never. You want to go do a dick filling party today? Do More a than dick anything. Filler. Yeah, yeah, that'd be. Dude, it's on me. I that'd got you. Rad. Thank you, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna be so gaped. Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna be wait. destroyed. I'm yeah. already destroyed. All that watertight talk earlier. Come on, dude. Do dick filling. This is yeah. a great idea. Let's get the boys together. Yeah, have a little barbecue. Do a before and after photo shoot. We have to do the before and after photos. We need matching outfits because the those after photos are gonna make us feel so good. Oh yeah. And I think we should share the befores, mm -hmm. let everybody shame and humiliate us. Right. Then you go, wait till you see my dick in about an hour. Yeah. And then, like, then mine's forked. It looks like a lizard's tongue. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was talking to um, Toby Morse. He's a punker guy in a band. And he said that guys are getting, that guys get dick sleeves. Huh? Uh-huh. Like they, tattoos? Yo, dick sleeves. Like I knew he a guy knows with guys. a dragon on his penis and he would get it all worked up and then show us at parties. Yeah, but right above it, there was where his pubic region was. There was a swastika, so that really ruined the vibe. <laughs> oh <laughs> Jesus! Yeah, he gave me my toe tattoos. Okay, what really? if? Really? Mm -hmm. If okay, if you could enlarge your peener, but you have to get a dick sleeve first, would you do it? If you could enlarge my penis, but I have to get a dick sleeve first, like this. Yeah. But you get the big, you can get whatever you want in a penis. Like uh, that's the trade off. You have to get dick sleeves, but I have to get totally covered. Uh huh. Like that. You have to get that exact thing on your oh, dick. He did the bean bag too. Look mm. at that. Uh huh. But you can have whatever dick you want that you think is like the perfect dick. What if mm. you had you could get a bigger dick, but you had to get the equivalent size of balls? Wait, what? So you get a huge dick, but then your balls also grow to the same ratio that your to dick the was? same ratio. Yeah. So you've got a big piece, but now you're lugging around a couple of Big Mac buns. <laughs> okay, I'd do it. I think I'd do it. You'd have to get special pants. You have to dress like a chic. Yeah, you do, kind yeah. of. Yeah, just gowns. That's why they do it. But I think I would cotton. do it just for... At, but at this point, here's the thing. In this scenario, I am definitely going to announce that I'm that guy. Yeah. And I'm going to make it part of my identity. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make it... It's like you're the person who... Every post is about weed. You right. know how they're yeah. like, I like weed. And mm -hmm. you're like, I get it. Yeah, and we're, we're like, aware. Yeah. And then they're like, I'm smoking weed right now. And look at my weed. And it's yeah. just like, that's right. I would be that for like, dick. I have huge dick and balls. You should come talk to me. You should come meet me if you yeah. want to see it. It's Bring totally a food fun. scale. Yeah. Do whatever okay. you want. I'll yeah. do photo shoots with you, mm -hmm. birthday parties, whatever you want. 
You guys get to see them. So yeah, I would do it. Would you, you do the dick sleeve and pick every dick Well, you yeah, want? it's part of the trade-off. Okay, would you rather, I haven't done this in a long time. Sure. Give would you a... rather have a huge cock, like yes. the cock of your dreams, but you're short for a man? Whatever that is. Yeah, like which both Napoleon. experiences would be brand new for me. That's right. You're tall. Dude. I'm huge. What like you, you're six, as small four, as Napoleon. Five? Yeah, I'm 7'4". Seven, 7'4". Four. Seven, four. I'm huge, yeah. Or mm. would you be... Um, so you're, this was you're a big dick and you're short, but you're, or be super tall, like tall, or have a small one. Been there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I want a different, I want a different ride. Yeah. <laughs> if you're 4'10 yeah. and you have like a parking cone. A piece. Yeah. You're going to be able to, you're going to be famous. <laughs> They're yeah. going to put you in movies. And yeah. everyone's going to talk about yeah. you. Even if you go, I don't want this to get out. Guess what? It's getting out. Yeah, everyone's gonna be your friends. Your guy friends are gonna be like fucking little Sammy's dick is mm -hmm. crazy. It like, is nuts. Do yeah. you think Prince had a huge piece on him? He must no. have had a unit mm -hmm. because he was too mysterious. Uh, he yeah. wore too much velvet to have like a. Very but he was needy little. Piece. But he was like this much machismo. You know, like he was so no, macho had, and self assured. He was well. His talent was uh, out of control, like out of this world. And I think that lent itself to like the way he could care because everyone knew. He could play all those instruments. He was able, a music, yeah. musical genius. That's what all that swag comes from, but it's not from his dick. But he had a dexterous dick, like a thumb joint type situation. Yeah, yeah he looked like you could bend and stuff. What, what would you do? Would you be tall, but with a smaller dick? No. Short with a huge heart? I'd do the short big dick ride. Yeah. I think that'd be fun. How short are we talking? Yeah, how Napoleon. short? Napoleon. I don't know. I don't know what's short. I don't want to throw out numbers because I don't know. How, how tall was Napoleon Bonaparte? He was like 6'3". <laughs> How tall was he? Between 5'2 and 5'7. That's, that's pretty not, small. Is that, yeah, but imagine like if he was dragging woman. his tip. <laughs> He's had a scabbed up tip. Yeah. What's from, that from? Well, it hits the ground all the time. Yeah, yeah. Duh. It's from the tarmac. What? Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude. I had to get these like uh, this dick pouch, this thing where I just kind of stuff it in so it doesn't get in the way of me getting through my tasks for the day. <laughs> What about huge dick, but it has a sandpaper like texture? Ooh! So it hurts. Uh uh. It hurts your hand when you no. commit the lonely act. I don't want that. No. No, because I want it to get touched a lot. You know? Right. Well, you could you could put it in a condom. That's I'm like yeah, a right. fucking loser. <laughs> Come yeah. on, man. Come on, you know no what way. I think? Women's women's dick, because you guys are obsessed with like your dick, the size. Like, our dick thing is our weight. Yeah, yeah. We're obsessed with our weight. Like, if I was just skinnier, I'd be better. Like, people would love me more. Like, yeah. this guy would like me more. My wow. wife got to like 180 during med school, and I wanted all of that. Wow. Because she would just sit in her room and like study, and then she lost all the weight, and she'd look at pictures and be like, "Oh my god, I was such a pig." And I was like, "You mean when your breast hurt your back? Yeah, I hated that." <laughs> When he looked like a drawing in a prisoner's notebook, what a nightmare <laughs> that was! Yeah, it's like you want to, why don't you do that again? Do it again, you know? yeah. yeah. But she's happy and healthy now. Yeah, yeah. That sucks. Ugh, bummer. I know. Yeah, I remember one time it was just like she she was wearing a shirt that she used to wear, and it had rid up where like the bottom of the shirt had gone up under the breasts. Yeah, and I was just staring at here, just just mouth agape, and she's like, "Are you having a stroke?" Yeah. She thought I was having some kind of like TIE because yeah. I was. Like those tits are what's up right oh, now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I remember your big old pregnant tits. We all do. Let's talk yeah. about them. Yeah. They were enormous. I mean, my one of my tits was as big as his head. Yeah. Not even exaggerating. When yeah. I was breastfeeding, I mean, we took a picture. Remember, we took pictures of my tits because it was just. I remember. I like that. I like that face because I remember I'd be like, look at this fucking slut. Big like, titted ass. Like, <laughs> stupid baby inside of her. Like. She's definitely like, there's nothing she can do. She can't help herself She's right totally now. She's totally dependent on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like just, oh man. I, it was really good for like hostage kind of fantasies, you know? I like that. I'm yeah. into that. I wish you would have let me know. I like that. Well, all that matters is what happened in here. I was like, this bitch isn't getting out, you know? So Aww, it wasn't the breasts so at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that he, he doesn't want to let me go. Yeah. Is that because you love me so much? Uh, it just kind of, you know, it filled the like, the idea of like keeping somebody captive, you know? Like that I yeah. could do that. It's yeah. more about the power and the control. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like you. I like that. Yeah, and then also I, I thought like I would imagine you going like, can I leave now? You know, yeah. like when we were done. I was like, no, shut up. And here's a bowl of food. Like, yeah, I, just put it on the ground. Yeah, there's a drain in the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's linoleum. You know what's so sad is this is like a form of love. Like I feel like you're expressing your love. What's that? What will you just explain? This fantasy is like. You know, I don't want to fucking talk about this anymore. Yeah, see, and then it goes back to quiet Tom. Uh, Winnie Cummings, when she was pregnant, 
everybody was so uh, Ron White wanted a banger. Everybody wanted a banger because she just looked so. Well, because it was a miracle. Fertile. Yeah. No, she looked great. Wendy right. Cummings looked great pregnant. She was just. Right? Well, there is you guys that. all wanted a banger. Oh. Well, she was 65 with a baby in her. The, Everyone was like, whoa. No, the, <laughs> the glow is real, though. No. The glow is no, real. No, it was real. She looked amazing. I saw her. Yeah. yeah. It was good. Yeah. She looked like uh, vibrant. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. You know who else is vibrant? So if you've had any kind of erectile disorder problems, I'm here to tell you. Forget about Viagra. Uh. Forget about salads. Right. Forget about his voice. And plants and all that stuff. So I don't know if you believe me or not. But if you like to see me smoke some meth with a small limp dick, it doesn't get hard any other way. And watch it get harder and harder. The no more thanks. I smoke, the harder my dick gets. It's unbelievable. Your dickhead becomes so sensitive <laughs> that you don't need lube, you don't I need spit. It. You just stroke that dickhead this I'm up and down four times. It's just hard. barely do it. And you'll shoot an enormous <laughs> amount of very thick, thick, hot, white cum. My brother didn't believe it. But when he smoked with me, he put out his dick. I couldn't believe how big his dick was. He jacked off in four strokes and shot the most cum he's ever shot in his life. He's only 49, and he's fine. He has no neuropathy problems at all. But his dick gets even harder and thicker and even more cum. He believes me now. (laughs) That's cool, right? No neuropathy problems. Yeah, like myself. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. My brother's a healthier guy. You know what gives you a boner is spider bites. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, like a black widow or a hobo spider. Really? Yeah, priapism is one of the side effects. No shit. Yeah, so you're just like dying slowly, but you've never been harder. Wow. Yeah. You can like flip a manhole cover. Your dick's so tough. Math. We got to do meth and a spider bite and see Mm -hmm. like... Yep. What kind of the Tallahassee double dip? There you go. You ever, <laughs> I can't yeah. Results that. Did you ever masturbate with your brother? No, <laughs> definitely not. The first time I ever masturbated was a Rumble Pack on a PS2 controller. Yeah, and I was just in my lap, and I was driving. I was playing Twisted Metal, and like the car crashed into the wall, and I was like, "Whoa!" So then I just kept restarting the game and driving into the wall until I ejaculated in my friend's basement. That's awesome. Yeah, that's such a unique. It was cool. But the whole no cum shot porn thing, I didn't, because I was a young man. We only had like basic cable. So you'd watch Red Shoe Diaries. Yeah. And you'd be like, well, this was cool. I don't know what to do. Why my dick's hard? Yeah. What am I going to do? And then when it happened organically, I was so afraid. Yeah. I thought something terrible happened. Yeah. This was like, it's so disappointing. You yeah. Because also, like, this was a definitely a step up from Showtime, Skinamax movies. This was mm-hmm. a hardcore X rated thing. And then they were just like, nope, no shot. Like I was like, what the fuck what am is I going paying on? For yeah. Here? yeah, that's when you call Hilton Honors. Yeah, mm. hey guys, do you want me to keep staying at these hotels? <laughs> yeah, I've got a lot of points. Yeah, uh, you need to send me some cum shops right now. <laughs> Immediately, get on the jet. Get over dro- here. Airdrop it to me. I want to see something. Mm-hmm. Do you like lesbian porn? Not in the least. Thank you. No, another. But there's about four women now who get into my rotation because I really don't treat myself very often. Yeah, I like to keep my seed for my wife. Sure. Because God forbid she wants to go and you can't. Yeah. That's a nightmare. So uh, I don't really do that. But yeah, there's four people who really can get me mm-hmm. right where I need to go. Mm-hmm. I feel so terrible can I ask talking you a about this. Sidebar question. Yeah. What race do you think he is? That guy? Yeah. Guatemalan. Really? Duh. He has Guatemalan eyebrows. You think so? Oh, yeah. If you Do you think there's anything else there? Uh, mm, Maybe some like ancient lizard people. Mm-hmm. Like kind of like Anastasi blood, maybe? Could be, mm-hmm. yeah. Why, do you know? No, I just like to get people's take on it. Yeah, he's some kind of South American type. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's a lot of meth in his body. Oh, for sure. They think yeah. he's black. I don't think he's black. Whatever he is, he's excited about him. being alive. He is very excited he's about being alive. He's cracked the code. Yeah. He's a good guy. Ugh. One of my dear, dear friends. Yeah. <laughs> Can we do my cool tourism videos? Oh, sure, yeah. I want to introduce you to a new lane of TikTok videos I found. It's like dumb Americans going to awful places and doing stupid things. Okay. And they they make travel diaries about them. Like, on our trip to Kyrgyzstan, we found an actual lovely boutique where they sold uh, children's feet hobbled. And, you know, like, it's just terrible. (laughs) Um, the food wasn't very good in Afghanistan. Like, yeah, no shit. Yeah. It's right. like dumb tourists. <laughs> dumb tourists who are like, you know, here it's, uh, 
They're, they're saying to stay off the streets and to stay off this highway, but we're going to give it a shot and yeah. see where we end up. We're going to try and like, hitchhike back to our hotel. Like, why are you doing this? So like, this guy followed us for 30 miles. And <laughs> only the locals saved us. Anyway, there's this really cool spot in town where you can find hats. And like, what the fuck is wrong with you? I just spent the night in Abuja's cheapest hotel, and this is how it went. Okay, so this is what $4 gets you in Abuja, Nigeria. This is the cheapest accommodation you can find here in the capital. Cheapest on booking, cheapest I could find online. And, and this, this is, a flex. is what you get. You get a, a decent sized bed. Sure. You get a fan. You get this iPad thing on the wall. Um, this is what the walls look like. Yeah. <laughs> it's about right. It's not the cleanest. No. But I guess it does the job. You get what you pay for, not complaining. It's $4, which is very affordable here in Africa. This is the bathroom. It's an ensuite. I use an indoor toilet. That's yeah, nice. Oh, but and yeah, it's yeah. a really tight bathroom. I couldn't go I in there. I don't think this is going to work. Yeah. But look, There's no toilet. Why is his um, urine so yellow? That didn't sound good. Yeah, that was yellow. And yeah, yeah. let me show you outside. It's dehydrated. Quickly. The rooms are named after British cities, so I'm in the room. Oh, it's 10. written with a sharpie mm -hmm. over the room. Yeah, I mean, it was four dollars, bro. Like, you are, you know, you're not showing me something I didn't expect. And yeah, this is what you get for four dollars. Uh, I think be a chandelier in there. Um, nothing special, but you get what you pay for, guys. Yeah. He's gonna wake up in a fucking tub of ice with his kidneys gone. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. This is so bad. They I took his passport to check it. It's in a safe somewhere. It's just like a strange thing to be like, you want to see some super dangerous shit I did? Yeah. And I managed to leave with my phone. Here it is. Mm -hmm. Here's parts of the world that you're not welcome in. Right. And I went there. Like, I don't know. Here's Come with me to the dentist in Georgia. The oh, country, man. not the state. I've been having a lot of pain in my jaw and came to the dentist on my second day in the country. Everything here is very clean and professional. The dentist speaks English it very like well and even does dental work for yeah. foreign diplomats cheese, living so in Tbilisi. They, they sent hmm. me to get an x-ray and told me I had to take out all my earrings and I said I couldn't do that, so they decided to do the x-ray anyways. <laughs> the dentist recommended I get a night guard to wear because she thinks I'm clenching my jaw while I sleep. I paid $67 for the checkup, an x-ray, and a custom night guard. Follow to see more of Europe's most underrated country. I mean, it's a phenomenal price. I have to give her that. That is a tremendous price to get the checkup, the x-ray, and the mouth guard for $67. And she's That's clenching incredible. because she's afraid of being victimized on the street. <laughs> <laughs> she can't sleep without just going into night terrors. I mean, also, Dude, like, but look at this. were you okay. suffering like this in the States? And you're like, I'll just wait till I get to the Republic of Georgia oh, yeah. to handle oh. this. But I mean, look how old everything. Everything looks like it's from the 60s, from no, the Soviet look, era. It's terrible. But also, it looks old. But it it's not as bad as it could be, right? Like, they still have some modern equipment. They had stuff that you would see in a in a, in a modern day dentist, like you know the TV for the yeah yeah like, yeah. I don't know. It's I, I don't think it was. Do it. it looks like they're in I an old swimming pool, like where they used to bathe horses. Yeah, <laughs> of course. <laughs> yes, it's, like, yeah. it's deep you. there, uh -huh. dude. And you can walk above, and like no. that horse is getting very clean. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. And he's yeah. gonna be ready for the king. In sure. the summer of '94, when I I French kissed my second cousin, mm -hmm. that yeah. same summer, I ate. Uh, Mentos, there was an apple flavor I found in Europe, yeah. and I ate them every day, and I gave myself a cavity. And around week two of my four-week trip in Budapest, I felt the cavity, and I was like, no way am I going to a Hungarian dentist. Fuck this shit. I'll just wait till and I get back Hungarian to the States. To be, yeah, and I'm like, I'm clear. not fucking go No way, bro. Anyway, I waited until I got back home. It had to be root canaled, but I was still like, worth it. Would never even get a cavity filled. In really? Fuck would you do no. it now? Yeah, now I would. That's Pretty, it's pretty westernized. Yeah, they've they've gotten modern. better. But I was just Georgia, there. It was great. really? Yeah, I did Budapest. see it over there like yeah. a month ago. Oh shit! Yeah. I gotta go do it there. Yeah, I did you it should. a few months ago. It was great. Yeah, it but great. this is this is not this is Georgia, bro. Mm -hmm. It's no, different. No thanks. No I, ruski I don't know. shit. No. I wouldn't do like oh, I've been thinking about getting this procedure done. I'll wait till I go to Republic of Georgia. I think I would do that. But I mean, if I had an emergency, I'd be like, Nah, I mean, no, dude. What I mean, are you gonna do? Sixty-seven dollars. Sixty-seven dollars. A lot of people could have all their new teeth. Yeah. I got mine removed. Yeah. Well, she should. You can do that. I know, I couldn't eat anymore. I'd be skinny. It's, <laughs> it's just soup forever. Soup's good. Thick water. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Broth. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. You can still slurp. You can slurp all you want. Mm -hmm. Here's one more. 
Would you ride this train? Nope. We traveled with Dylan for <laughs> over a month through three different countries, and tonight we said goodbye. We've rode on a lot of old Soviet trains, but tonight is our first time riding in third class. The wagon is completely open, and many people bring food and drinks to share during the journey. We had beds on the side, which are much smaller than the other beds. Zach's bed was covered in sand, and we found some baby cockroaches crawling around on the floor. Yes, babies, but yeah. at least the bathroom was very clean. It was much nicer than I expected. Yeah. We'll ride this train for eight hours back to Tashkent, the capital of Uzbekistan. Is this the couple that did the other stuff? They're like, here is where things got crazy. I think so, yeah. And this gypsy lady threw a fucking bag of rocks at us. And you're like, yeah. okay. We thought it was a baby. Yeah. <laughs> and this is like... This is their whole lane. This is their whole lane. And bro, this is third class. Like, yeah. did you even know there was a third class no. on trains? No, but they have sleeping beds. Yeah, If true. you ride no. a train here first class, you don't get a bed. Definitely no. not. No. This no. is so much better. That looked like Tim Dillon Stewart bus. Yeah. My the bed was covered in sand. Yeah. yeah. The cockroaches. <laughs> and she's a girl there. I was yeah. like, dude, I wouldn't. And she's like a cute young thing on a train like that. Yeah. I would not close my eyes, homie. No way, no how. It looked like an ice detainment center. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do uh, this <gasps> one here. That so I want to try this. Dude. When it comes to fasting, don't tell yourself you're eating nothing. You are eating. You're eating the Krispy Kreme donut you had when you were eight years old. <laughs> That's been on your fat fucking face your whole life. Right. So let's get rid of that. You're yeah. still eating, so don't act like you're hungry. Don't cry like a bitch. <laughs> like, just do it. There you go, Tom. I remember super when I was fasting, I'd always start weeping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> be two hours in. I'd just be inconsolable. Have you done a fast? Oh, yeah. I did it all during uh, COVID. I did the one meal a day thing. Oh, you did? Yeah. Um, I'm thinking about doing a three-day fast. You're going to have water or no? Yeah. Water, okay. Yeah. All right. Water fast? Water fast, yeah. Go for it. You do that, and then you get your dick enlarged. Dude. Because mm -hmm. it's gonna you're going to see every Will vein Will you come in with me thing. if I do it? I would gladly. It'd be a dream. To so go to a dick enlarging? Yeah, filler, yeah. like see me get filler in mm -hmm. it? Yeah. I'll oh. wear one of those head-mounted cameras yeah. and just be right here over your crotch the whole time. Yeah. Yeah, That's that'd be so great. That's so cool. I want to see where it can get, you know? Yeah. I mean, you have kids. Yeah. You know? I just want to see, now? my main question for them is like, what's function like? If function stays the same, I'd be like, what's the what's the harm here? Maybe you're just hard forever. What about that? Wait, Huge dick, dick hard filler? forever. Filler is literally just a layer of um, gelatin. It's like a, it's literally like a, like a whatever a gelatin thing, and they rest it just under a layer of like muscle above the bone, right? Mm. So it just cosmetically lays, and if it, it your also, body absorbs it. I want to know how long this lasts because if I get used to this like new thick dick life, a year, once a year, ooh, once a year we got. Yeah. I don't know though. Maybe your dick absorbs it faster than your face, but my face filler is a year. Well, yeah, you're gonna be squeezing it all the uh, time. You're like, oh man, so thick. thick. God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is exciting. I think you're really into it. Where excited. would do you have to go to uh, Australia? Go to Georgia. For it? I'm gonna go to Australia, but they they have to offer this here. Come Can on, do dick fillers. It has uh, to be Los Angeles. Penis. Somebody in LA does it. Go penis to the best filler enlargement. Austin, yeah. Texas. Maybe my plastic surgeon can. We want to call mine and ask her. Right yeah, now? sure. Yeah, I do. Number one cosmetic penis doctor. Upsize matters. Oh, That's I want right. a girth oh, implant. Dude, you let's go look at the before after girth. pictures. Okay. Oh, wow. What can we do for you? <gasps> upsize. What is upsize. Before and after. Oh, there you go. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Come on. Are you ready, Tom? Come on. How many Man. fucking. All right. Flaccid. Like I was already huge. Oh, yeah, but look at this. Oh, wow. Whoa. After 12 milliliters. 12 mils. Okay. Whoa. Erect before 24. Whoa. Oh, Lord, look how shiny it I is. I don't notice the And difference. also, they put a woman's hand on that for us. Yeah, that's Or a man a with cool fingernails. Yeah, that's true. <gasps> oh. That's what I want to see. Interesting. Okay, that's significantly... It's like looking in a mirror. <laughs> how'd they get that's that? good. Is that tiny guy? Yeah. That's really cool. Let's see it hard. That's what, that's what I want to see. Mm -hmm. Oh, Glass no. It. Oh. Look at all these thumbelinas. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. Nice. There's a lot of Sorry. uncircumcised junks in there Texas. There are a lot of. Oh, yeah. I'm surprised. Ooh, that got like a real swollen mushroom tip there. <laughs> nice. He filled out nicely. <laughs> yeah. He's ready for the ball. I there feel you go. sick. I can't you look do? at all these I'm dicks. fucking I'm salivating right now. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah, you should do this. Yeah, man. Is this here? 
Yeah. No. California. You have to have a location oh. here. All right. You want to clear your schedule? I mean, I have a pretty busy schedule for the next few weeks, but what's more important than you? Thanks. Sam, you gotta treat yourself. Wait, there's girth implants, upsize versus girth implants. Oh, we gotta look at these, Sam. What the hell? I knew this show was gonna change my life. Upsize procedure is your best option for non-surgical, minimally invasive penis enlargement. I don't think you should say minimal when you're doing tiny dick surgery. I think that's com that's a good point. Um, minimal to no pain. Okay, that's do good. we know what we're? You can go back to work the same day. <laughs> Finally, you can do this on a swing shift. Oh, dude. <laughs> It's so perfect. How for this. this has to be outrageously expensive. I don't know. Upsize versus girth. I don't know. I think poor guys. Oh, filler how to is safe and smooth. So they're, they're telling you, get the filler. That's what they're saying. They're saying filler yeah. is safer. I would do filler if I was going to inject anything. You can't. Anything. I don't want to do an implant, man. No, you, that's dangerous when they start doing surgery. It's too much power. A filler uh, your body can absorb. It's no big. Five grand for the sweet new dick. <laughs> Come on, I got an hour. Let's get out of here. Thermal fillers, yeah, one to nine thousand. This Google, is Google. What's the pain? Figure out how much it hurts. Fat transfer. They can take fat from my body and put it in my oh, wings. Oh yeah, it's gotta hurt. A small needle about the oh, size of an insulin pain. or Botox syringe is injected at the base of the penis and acts as a nerve block throughout the entire area. Oh, that's oh so you cool. shouldn't feel pain, but you'll definitely feel that first pinch. Yeah, I could deal with one pinch. I've been pinching the whole time we're over here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pinching away. Come on. Okay. Oh, for, hit that drop down. The P shot is a simple yet effective way of addressing concerns related to your sexual wellness, as well as da, 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 effects for one to two years. Once they were off, you can easily receive a top off injection. You should get a subscription service. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Just every six months I'm they back. come in. Yeah. Dude, like this, this is amazing. We live in the best time. This is the best mm -hmm. time. Uh, it's this so is crazy. Fantastic. You can get your boobs done. You get your fucking face done. I could get a boob dick where my done. dick is. You could. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, dude. Mm -hmm. This is such a great time to be alive. Yeah. You can get tits on your dick. Damn. You know, it'd be cool if you could get a pussy implanted right between my wife's boobs. Yeah. Dude. But I wouldn't need the rest of her. Yeah, you don't. Yeah. It's such a good idea. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I keep pitching it. Make her mouth a butthole and then you're just all done, you know? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I've always thought they put our genitals in a weird place. Yeah, the smelliest part of your body. Right. Well, okay. Where should sure. It be? I mean, my vagina. In my experience. I, I like his idea of putting my vagina in between my breasts because I would guard this. Like I can, I can cover my vagina. Yeah. But if it's in between my legs, someone can just come up and kick me. A really short man can pop out. Yeah. Super great. I yep. sit down. With his big huge dick. Mm -hmm. He's like, yeah. I, mean, I think I'm small, but I have a big dick. <laughs> <laughs> I answered the question first. <laughs> <laughs> But every time I sit down, my genitals are vulnerable. Mm -hmm. um, for you guys, running, hunting, this is the oh, most I inefficient place run. to put genitals. It's a uh, animals can just grab. You kind of go through life going like, it's kind of wild that my genitals have stayed with me. That I haven't torn a ball off. Yeah. I know. Nail. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, I think your dick and balls should be right here, right honestly, here. so you can and guard so that I can go, up. <gasps> Yeah. yeah, or just grow a big beard and cover them up, keep them warm in the winter. Nice. Yes, yeah. mm -hmm. yes. They're just swinging free. They're swinging That's free, and crazy. there's so much of them just dangling everywhere. Oh gosh. Yeah. I mean, I'd like to squeeze a baby out of here instead or down there. Oh my god, it'd look like alien. Oh, and why is your butthole next to your vagina? It's totally unsanitary. Totally. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's a bad idea. So you get it mixed up every now and then. Yeah. Yeah. Sanitation is not a good idea. Wiping for a woman is a real delicate procedure. It's a whole thing. You got to go front you to take, back. You take your fecal matter, and what you do is you coat <laughs> your vagina, right. and it protects it from getting like infections. Just the labial lips, though. That's yeah. right. That's right. You want to get it mushed in there. If you're a young there. woman and you're watching, you always go back to, <laughs> to front, front, and you always smear and protect your vaginal walls <laughs> that just gave with me your feces. Check. This mm -hmm. is a known thing. But only your own feces. That's right. Yeah, Somebody not the else's can get you very sick. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> Well, and we're going to have to leave with that. I got to go to the airport. There's oh, a shit, that's car right. here. Yeah, we got to um, get to Australia. Yeah. <laughs> get our dicks filled. Let's go. Um, Sam, Sam Talent. Talent's new special is out now on Shane Gillis's YouTube page. Congratulations mm -hmm. on that. Thank you, guys. Thank you for um, having congrats, me. Congrats, Thank you for coming. Thanks for coming. Thank I was glad to and, be here. Uh, yeah, we'll see you guys soon. We'll see you next time. Bye, Mommy. amounts of cocaine with her to the point I thought my heart was going to stop. She told me to calm down, gave me a drink, 
do this to you. Yeah, of course. You wouldn't mind? Why would I mind? She's a little bossy. It's fine. Yeah? Yeah, I'm sure it wouldn't be that fun, but I mean, I would still do it. You know, I think Again, I would just fun. do it for the story. I think Hills would be fine with it for you and her. Do you have any idea what kind of story that is? Well, I, I can't believe it happened. I know. I mean, I mean, this guy is telling it to his YouTube channel, but... Yeah. It must have happened before she was married to Bill. I don't think that's what he's saying. Oh, you think this is, like, recent? Of course. Wow. Recent as in at least during the era. Hillary Clinton ate my asshole. Hillary Clinton... My asshole. Hillary Clinton. Hate my asshole. Hillary Clinton. Hate my asshole. Hey, you just watched an episode of your mom's house. I hope you enjoyed it. And if not, watch another one. Maybe you'll like that one. They're everywhere. Look, I don't know. Replace them in like cubes or, or squares or whatever this is. Just click another one. And maybe you'll find one you like. Or someone will get hurt and everybody likes that. Don't forget to subscribe.